Good morning. This is Wednesday, September 4th. I'd like to begin by wishing Grammy Helen a happy birthday. Uh, Grammy Helen Hamilton was a part of our church for quite a while, and we miss you, Grammy, and we hope you have a good birthday. We're so glad you're with your daughter. Today's devotion is simply called His. This is John 17. They were yours. You gave them to me. A disciple is one in whom the Holy Spirit has forged this realization of, I am not my own. To say, I am not my own, is to have reached a point of great spiritual nobility. If I am a disciple, I make a sovereign decision to give myself over to Jesus Christ. Then the Holy Spirit comes in to teach me his nature. He teaches me this not so that I'll hold myself apart from others, like a showroom exhibit of holiness or a trophy, but in order to make me one with the Lord. Until I am made one with him, he won't send me out. Jesus Christ waited until the resurrection to send his disciples to preach the gospel, because only then did the power of the Holy Spirit come upon them, enabling them to perceive who Jesus Christ was and truly become one of his. If anyone comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, such a person cannot be my disciple. That's Luke 14. Jesus doesn't say such a person cannot be a good and moral individual. He says such a person cannot be one over whom I write the word mine on their soul. Any of the relationships Jesus mentions may be a competitive relationship. I may prefer to belong to my father or my mother, to my spouse or to myself. If I do, Jesus says I cannot be his disciple. This doesn't mean I won't be saved. It simply means I won't be his. You will be my witnesses. That's Acts 1. Our Lord makes his disciples his own possessions. He becomes responsible for them. The spirit the disciple receives isn't the spirit of hard work or of doing practical things for Jesus. It's the spirit of love and devotion, of being a perfect delight to Jesus. The secret of the disciple is, I am entirely his, and he is carrying out his work through me. And that's the challenge I have for us. Can we say, I am entirely his? Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you call us to such uh, wonderful places in the kingdom to be called one of your disciples. And we pray today, Father, that we can freely say that we belong to you. We can say, I am his. Be with us, Lord, as we walk this Christian walk. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. God bless and I'll see you tomorrow.